Well, good morning, and welcome to the Wednesday Pastor Check-In with Pastor Brian. That's me. You uh, may notice that I am in our sanctuary this morning, our main sanctuary. And uh, I had plans, actually, to be over in Parish Hall. However, um, as I went up to see um, about finding a space to broadcast from, I noticed that uh, Joyce and Zach are very busy transforming the space. And so I thought, you know what, I'll wait until next week to show to you um, our new worship space um, that is being set up in Parish Hall for our second service on Sunday mornings. Well, the one we've been doing outside and we'll uh, continue to do when we have the weather to do it, but it was looking like this Sunday might be a little bit too chilly. So we are moving inside again, uh, Parish Hall to be able to do worship in there. And I love what they are doing with the space. Um, and it's just a reminder of, um, you know, we can worship um, in all different kinds of spaces, and I have been excited to be able to do, to do that online with you, um, outside, here in the sanctuary, and now in Parish Hall and other places. Hospitality room sometimes becomes a place of worship in our, um, our Gable Chapel. So, all of that said, I am in the sanctuary, which is not a new place to be broadcasting from, but I will show you what I love about the sanctuary in the morning as the, sh the sun shines through. It's a beautiful sight to see in the mornings uh, on a sunny day. So I hope you are enjoying yours. Um, I was thinking today as I was reading through the common lectionary um, about a song which you may or may not know. It's from 1984, but I remember singing it uh, growing up, and it's, um, it's a really great tune, As the Deer. Um, and I, this was actually one of my favorite hymns, um, especially among newer hymns, uh, As the Deer. And it is based off of Psalm 42, if I could find it. Um, Psalm 42 verse 1. And I, I'm going to read these verses for you, and I want you to notice um, what it means to depend upon God. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me continually, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went with the throng and led them in the procession of the house of the God, of God, with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving and a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him and my help and my God. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Um, what you may have noticed in that excerpt, um, it goes from talking about our dependency upon God to the psalmist actually um, lamenting the disquieting of their soul, um, their tears as food, the, the sort of deep um, despair that they have felt um, and in that moment they recognize how dependent they are on God and I think about how in moments of disquieting uh, and also just in normal moments how hard it is to admit we are dependent upon really anything but ourselves um, you know in a society that um, really values independency you know resiliency self-sufficiency, all good things on their own, but they're all things that um, cause us to think that we ought to be able to do things on our own. We shouldn't have to depend on other people. We shouldn't have to lean on other people when, when really uh, the virtue is um, self, is being able to do it on one's own. Um, and while I really appreciate a certain grit and a certain um, a, a determined uh, attitude and perseverance from that, I do think it clouds our vision sometimes in being able to remember we are dependent not only on one another but on God. 
so much so that we are like a deer panting for water, our soul longing after God. And the thing that I have learned about, um, about this reading the Psalms and singing the song that we're going to sing together is that whether we realize it or not, our soul longs after God. Um, the best thing that we can do is recognize that longing and, uh, and quit trying to find all sorts of other things to fill it. But to long after God and then to seek after God, that our souls might uh, find the, the quenching water that they seek. Whatever that is for you in your life, um, I invite you to take a moment to think how you can yearn and how you can follow that yearning for God. I invite you, and I'll put the words on the screen so you have them, to sing along with me this hymn, As the Deer. And if you don't know it, um, well, it is pretty easy, but you can go ahead and just listen and follow along as well. Give my early morning singing. Um, I hope this song is a blessing to you. It's a song that I often sing when I am feeling sort of disconnected or discombobulated from um, what's what what's what matters most, what um, is is seeking after me, but I often ignore, which is God's interrogating, permeating, um, sanctifying grace in my life. So I hope that today you might find ways to seek after that water. Um, let your soul long and seek after that longing. Um, because we know that whether we are uh, after what we need to be after or not, we know that our soul longs to be in union with Christ and with our neighbor. I offer this to you today because I know there are many of us that are longing after this kind of stillness in our soul. Um, so if you find yourself wrestled, uh, wrestled up inside today, um, or if you find yourself rather quiet inside, um, know that you are being drawn towards the grace and the hope and the fellowship of love divine. And the best thing we can do is go with the current rather than against it. Uh, I hope you have a, a wonderful rest of your Wednesday and that you continue to be blessed um, as you are loved and created in the image of God. God bless you.